Hey, Jacoby. Hope you're well. Thanks for taking the time. Um, just want to ask you about breaking down film and, you know, what that process has been like you for you for these first few years and, you know, how refined have you gotten with it and how much did you really have to learn how to, how to really do it once you got here? Um, watching film is definitely a very important part. I mean, of football alone is just kind of, it's not something you can really do for 30 minutes and then say, I'm good. You know what I mean? And just, you're fine. Like you got to spend different days looking at different things, you know, because one time you might watch for third downs or you might watch for just man coverages in general. You know what I mean? So I feel like I've gotten a lot better. I just, our coaches teach me how to break it down and just how to separate it and actually look for something specific and then being able to stop that and move on to something else. So. How specific do you get when you're, I mean, do you have like a specific check, checklist every week? All right, these are the guys I'm going to go through and, and look at this first, or do you kind of float and, you know, see where you end up as you're going? Um, It really depends on the day that we have ahead of us, honestly. So if we're working on third downs that day, I'll see how they play on third downs, the coverages, of course, and then how each individual DB kind of plays and how guys, if they drop out, how the safeties react. So it kind of is like a checklist, but it really depends on the situation of the day. Just one more. I mean, do you ever find something like a little thing like, you know, oh, I think I could use this. Like you feel like you kind of discovered a nugget that you might be able to exploit. I mean, I know I don't know if that happens so much at yeah, your position as, you know, mm -hmm. defensive ends when they're coming or going or, you know, same thing with tackles when they're coming or going. But uh, and does that ever happen to you? You find a little nugget that you think, oh, I think I found something here I could maybe use. Uh, yeah, all the time, especially with releases. I feel like that's something that if you pay attention to the DBs, kind of tell you who they are in the line of scrimmage and. If you pay attention to it, it kind of helps you moving forward. And getting off the ball is sometimes one of the hardest things. So if you pay attention, I feel like you can pick up a lot on it. Cool. Thank you, Jacoby. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Next question, Evan Lazar. Hey, Jacoby. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Good, thanks. I wanted to ask you about facing blitzes and, uh, you know, with this Miami defense coming up, but even last week, Jacksonville blitzed you a lot. And uh, maybe I, I'm looking too much into this, but it seems like, Sometimes you get like a pretty good feel pre-snap of if they're going to bring pressure or not, and if Mac's going to come to you or or whatnot. How has that relationship between you and Mac just evolved this year of uh, being able to kind of see the picture the same way? Mm, I feel like that's a testament to the coaches, honestly, because I mean they go, they do so much as far as preparing us and getting us ready for the game and what we might see, and a lot of those things are blitzes and just. Mac being a student of the game, kind of telling me what he see and what he needs me to do whenever that situation comes up. I just try to do that to the best of my ability. So the coaches and Mac, honestly, they just kind of got me in the right direction. I'm just trying to be a steady source for them. Got it. And just one other quick one. Uh, how have you feel like you've improved um, as a ball carrier, you know, yards after the catch? And is that something that you uh, feel like you can continue to improve on and work on in your game? I'm um, definitely, you know, just making more plays with the ball in my hands and being more aggressive. But I mean, I had a coach tell me when I first got into the league that if you catch every pass and fall down, then you probably had a good day, honestly. So as long as I'm protecting the ball, keeping it out of defense hands, and then I'll figure out something else from there. But right now that's the main thing, just limiting turnovers and now I can start being more aggressive. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And last question, Zach Carr. Hey, Jacoby, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Doing well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, D'Angelo Ross was part of your guys' undrafted class in uh, in 2019, right? Mm -hmm. What's he been like uh, as a teammate over the last couple of years, and, and what is it like to go up against him in practice? Um, first and foremost, just seeing him out there on the field, man, it brought it brought a lot of joy to my heart. You know, that was I was really excited for him. So just seeing him get his opportunity and go out there and do the best of it, or I mean, do the best of the opportunity that he could, I thought I was really proud of him. You know, and that. It made me really happy for him as a brother, as a teammate, as a family member, all that. But on the practice field, I mean, he's just the guy that comes to work every day. You know, I don't think I've ever heard him complain. He don't really have too much to say. He just go out there, do what's required of him, and do it to the best of his ability. So I definitely enjoy D'Lo on the field and off the field. So that's my guy, man. I'm, I'm really proud of him. Yeah, and I, I remember you saying that uh, something similar about Christian uh, over the weekend. Is it uh, mm -hmm. kind of a good feeling for you to, to see guys who have kind of grinded their way up and, and been with the program for a couple of years, finally get their shot? Yeah, definitely, because they're just silent workers, you know, and you don't normally get too much of the limelight when you're undrafted. It's kind of hard to just – you feel like you're playing all this time, your job is unsafe. You never really know what the day is like coming in. So just – I know what it's like to be there and just seeing how they grinded and worked and 
never complained to anybody, just came up and showed up every day, not knowing what was in store. I'm really happy for him. Awesome. Thanks, Jacoby.